Hello everybody, it's Clash's Gut here today with another video on how to make a firework game in Scratch. So, first of all, let's start by deleting our cat sprite. And let's go and paint our own sprite. So, let's zoom in and let's select the circle function. And we don't want an outline. And I'm just going to make this black and hold down the shift key when you're making a circle to make a perfect circle and let's see maybe make it a bit smaller and make sure to center it and we can call this our rocket so let's go into code and when click we want to go down here and click this and we want to add in pen so when clicked we want to erase all and hide so now let's go and paint a new sprite and let's make this red so same as last time let's make a red circle again hold down the shift function to make a perfect circle and center it and we can call this our fireworks so what we want to do now is when clicked, first of all, let's just clear graphic effects and hide. And then let's broadcast, um, let's say ready. So broadcast ready. Okay. And let's go back into our rocket. So when I receive ready, we want to wait until not mouse down and after that want it to drag out a forever loop and we want to just duplicate that get rid of the forever get rid of the not and just put in a wait until mouse down and want to go to X Mouse X and Y, let's just go negative 179, which is basically at the bottom of the screen here. And let's make a new variable. And first of all, let's delete the my variable and make a new variable Y and make it for this sprite only. So let's set our Y initially to 1. So let's go and show. And we want to again clear graphic effects and I want to repeat drag out a pick random and let's go 25 to 29 we want to change y by uh, let's go 0.6 and we want to change our y by y okay now want to stop oops not here stop other scripts in this part and we want it to hide and then we want to broadcast let's say explode and then we want to just stop this script, okay? So make sure to change it to stop this script and not just stop all. Okay, so let's go into our fireworks here. And let's go, when I receive explode, I want to repeat, um, let's just go 100, I don't know. <laughs> change color effect by let's say pick random one to two okay so after that we want to make a new custom block and let's call it clone and make sure it's run without screen refresh okay so clone so let's define clone very easy just repeat 300 which is the maximum number of clones you can have create clone myself easy so Let's drag out a when I start as clone block. And let's make a new variable 
And I'm just gonna call this speed and make sure it's a for the sprite only. And let's go and set speed to pick random 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. And I want to set ghost effect to 0. I want to set size. Oops, no, not that one. Set size to pick random. 90 to 110 and then we want to change the color effect by pick random 20 to 40 okay and now we want to simply go to rocket and let's say point in direction just go pick random 1 to 360 which is basically to say every direction and we want it to show and we want it to also reset the timer that will be important later so let's go to here and let's drag out a repeat and change it to 50 wanted to change color effect by 0.7 we want to move speed steps and we want it to change y by drag out a minus and make it zero minus timer okay now let's make a new variable and call it y and for the sprite only so again let's go down here oops and set our y to negative 2 and now we want to repeat 60 we want to set speed to speed multiplied by 0.97 and again we want to just move speed steps and we want to change y by y and change the y variable by negative 0 0.1 and now let's go and change our ghost effect by pick random 1 to 3 and let's change our color effect by 0.5 and let's just go wait oh no, 0.2 seconds and we want to hide and then of course delete this clone and before we do that we have to broadcast ready okay so let's test this and let's see, okay, all hide at the start, I'm going to send up a rocket, and boom. So, we have a little problem here. So, let's see what went wrong here. Now, the problem here was, we this, the speed is too little, so let's change that to 3 instead. And now let's try again. Yes, that looks a lot better. Cool. So, now, let's go and paint a new sprite and convert to bitnap. We want to use the fill and make it a totally black and go here. Cool. Let's just go one click forever. Go to zero, zero. Um, we want to set ghost effect to, let's say... 85 and obviously I want to just go backward and know five six layers and I want to forever oops we've got already got a forever there we want to inside our forever loop we want to stamp okay so let's go back to our fireworks and let's add in something a little more when I start as clone forever we also want it to stamp okay so 
let's see what happens now. Got a black kind of background. We can't see a rocket, but because that is white. So we have to make that a different color. And I'm just going to go white so you can see it. Cool. Go back in here. Let's try it now. Rocket comes up and... Oops, they're waiting for a second. And yes, look at that. A beautiful fireworks. However, as you can see, there is a delay as the rocket comes up. So let's go into our fireworks and let's just, instead of doing a, a manual repeat 100, let's make, make a block called change color and run without screwing fresh and put this in here so we want to change color and then clone so let's try this bang it has no delay and happens exactly after so let's go in and test that again our rocket comes up and it explodes and we have a very very good firework we're just going to test it a few more times Yep, as you can see, every time our color changes and has a bit of a trail, which is really cool. Okay, it goes down and it all falls and fades away. Yep, looking very, very cool. Okay, that is pretty much all for this video. This is only part one, so stay in tune for my next video. Thank you for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thanks for watching again and see you later.